You're a champ, but you're an underdog. Why do you think that is? I think it's my, uh, just the way I carry myself, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if people take my kindness for a weakness mm -hmm. or, or what, but, uh, you know, I'm a little guy. Uh, I, I'm not a big mouth. I'm a brash, you know. Um, I, I do it in a cage, you know. And if uh, I have to prove myself every time, so be it. When do you use your emotions, like, I need this now? And when do you say, oh, I, I don't need to be emotional at this point? How do you know when to... Yeah, you know, it's like, I guess the sport is kind of like, a, you know, you don't want to have any, any too lows or any too highs. You kind yeah. of want to keep your emotions at, at an even keel. But there are times when, you know, in a fight, you, you smell blood, you kind of want to get that heart pumping, get the adrenaline going, and, you know, emotionally put the guy away. Yeah. Or sometimes you have to use your head and be like, okay, uh, you know, say you're getting, you know, rattled or something. Yeah. You don't want to let your emotions over control you, and, you know, you do something stupid. The lightweights are, I mean, saturated with really, really, really good guys that are not only hungry, but are, like, starving to have your belt. How are you dealing with that, like, not just on a physical level, but on that uh, psychological level? Yeah, it's tough, you know. Uh, every fight, there's more pressure. Um, every time you defend the title, there's more pressure. There's more eyes on you. There's more people wanting your belt. But, uh, I mean, that's the... Uh, it's the profession I chose, it's the position I'm in, and uh, you know, if you want to be one of the best you know, champions out there, that's the stuff you have to deal with. There's this huge evolution in the way that MMA fighters are just becoming extremely creative. What are the, some of the things that you work on to make that effortless flow? Is it just coming naturally now? Like, how is that working? You know, it, it, in the beginning it's tough because you know, you're doing stuff you know, from, from boxing to Muay Thai to, yeah. to wrestling and the transitions between, they're not the smoothest, you know, but that's why you got, you know, I got my coaches, I got Phil, I got Mark, I got Ricardo, mm -hmm. and it, it's great because we all work together, you know, very good, no one has egos, we, we, they all bounce stuff off each other, yeah. and, and that helps with, with those situations where, you know, we're transitioning from stand-up to the ground to, you know, back to stand-up, just listening to them, um, you know, and it's drilling a lot, just being balanced, um, mm -hmm. and, and it's timing, it's really, it. you know, you're not going to go out there, first time Phil shows me something, uh, and I don't look too pretty doing it. <laughs> How have you seen yourself evolve from 2005 to now? Yeah, 2005, I was just a wrestler. Uh, that was a tough kid, uh -huh. you know? Uh, we talked about fighters and martial artists. Back then, I was just a fighter. Yeah. Now, I feel like I'm a martial artist. You need to be a fighter yeah. also, you know? You can't just be just a martial artist if you want to be the best because there's going to be times in, in a fight where you're going to have to fight, you right. know? I mean, martial arts isn't going to get you through it, but th that fighting spirit is. Well, why do you think that Thai boxing seems to be the overall sort of stand-up of choice for MMA right now? I just think because of all the tools, you know, Thai boxing has, you know, between you know, punches, kicks, knees and elbows, mm -hmm. you know, boxing is, you know, just hands. If you watch, go to a boxing match, all you're going to see is punches. Right. And in Thai boxing, you see everything. In MMA, that's the whole thing. You want to be a mixed martial artist. You want to be able to use all your tools. Right. And it's like, uh, you know, if, if, if I'm allowed to kick and I'm not kicking, I'm like, I'm leaving a, you know, it's like bringing a pen to a, to a gunfight. What's the difference to you, a fighter versus a martial artist? I think a fighter is, you know... A, Almost anybody can be a fighter. You can be a fighter in a lot of different things, not just fighting. But a martial artist is someone that's trying to prove himself every day yeah. uh, in, in martial arts. And, uh, you know, like, I feel like a martial artist is going to train all year, all year round. A mm -hmm. fighter is going to only train for his fights. You know, every day, it was like, what's your goal? What's your goal? The goal is just to get better every day. Yeah. And, and if I do that, all the accomplishments and all the titles will all come with me. I'm Phoenix Carnavalli. This is At The Watt with Frankie Edgar. We'll see you next time.